What's up guys? Welcome back to another OBD Mastery video. Now in this video today, we're going to be talking about um, the in-depth of a P0299 code on a Jetta TDI from the years 2005 to 2010 or Mark V. So we're going to be talking about the root causes of this code, um, symptoms that you might be having, as well as how you could troubleshoot it and possible culprits of this problem. So um, just before the video starts, this won't exactly ensure that, you know, you will get the issue solved, but it'll give you a good outline of what could be possible um, when actually tackling down this code. So let's go ahead and get right into it with just understanding or the introduction of the P0299 code. Now, the P0299 code indicates that the engine control module, uh, the ECM, of a Mark V Jetta TDI has detected insufficient turbocharger boost pressure. Now, this can lead to noticeable declines in your engine performance, which basically, if you're blipping the um, acceleration pedal, you won't exactly get the uh, power you once had uh, before this code actually popped up. So, um, turbo will actually lag and it will you know, not give you the you know, power um, necessary when driving but basically moving on here um, symptoms of this code now number one you're going to experience the loss of power now you're going to experience a noticeable reduction in engine power making acceleration sluggish like i mentioned right now um, you're going to be blimping the acceleration pedal you're not going to get exactly the uh, power that you once had so uh, understanding that understanding that this is going to be one of the symptoms and kind of going down the rabbit hole of what it might be, but um, engine misfires, all right? The engine may misfire or hesitate during acceleration. Now, you will get a rough driving experience, uh, so be aware of that. Whistling noise as well. Um, any high-pitched noise coming from the turbocharger may indicate a boost leak or malfunction. And then, obviously, the next is just going to be the check engine light that is eliminated on your cluster um, signaling a need for diagnostics. Moving on, um, the causes of a P0299 code, um, basically a faulty turbocharger. Now, a malfunction turbocharger can lead to um, inadequate boost pressure and just lead to the P0299 code. All right, it can fail to produce the adequate boost pressure and basically it won't efficiently give you the power that it once had. So moving on, uh, boost leak and intake system. Um, leaks in the intake system will allow air to escape, preventing the turbocharger from achieving the desired boost. Now, this isn't exactly um, most of the time the culprit of this code as a turbocharger can still operate under a form of leak and maybe a, you know, PCV or whatever it might be, maybe, you know, you got some elbows running underneath to the, you know, um, intercooler and all of that, but basically, um, malfunction boost pressure sensor is the next one. If the boost pressure sensor is faulty, it may provide incorrect readings, triggering the P0299 code. Clogged or dirty air filter. Now, a restricted airflow to dirty air filter can hinder the turbocharger's performance and cause low boost. Now, the next one's going to be faulty wastegate. Now, if the wastegate is stuck, open, or closed, it can lead and disrupt the boost pressure regulation, leading to the code of P0299. Now, next up here, we have the troubleshooting of the P0299 code. Now, you're going to want to inspect the wastegate and actuator on the wastegate. Now, check the wastegate and its actuator for proper operation. Now, ensure that the wastegate is not stuck, open, or closed, which can affect boost pressure. Uh, also, check for boost leaks. All right. You can inspect the intake system or intercooler for any leaks. Check any pipings running into the intercooler or the intake system as that can, you know, significantly impact the power um, of your turbocharger as, you know, a pinhole could even, you know, give you a leak that is just big enough for it to leak. But um, use a smoke test or pressure test to identify any areas. So you can find these in like AutoZone and all of that. You can test and see where boost or where a um, air leak is actually happening in your uh, turbocharging system. Now, visual inspection report on the first one here. Um, just be aware of that, all right? Leak detection. Um, basically, you're going to want to verify on the test boost pressure sensor. Um, you're going to want to verify that the boost pressure sensor is functioning correctly by using a multimeter or scan tool. Now, replace it if it's showing incorrect readings. 
um, sensor testing results, replacement sensor if need. All right, so be aware of that. Examine air filter. Now, this next one is ensuring that the air filter is not clogged. So you can take out the air filter. There's a lot of cleanings um, or cleaners out there that you can use um, supplies to actually, you know, tackle this and clean it up and stuff. Um, but yeah, basically moving on, um, additional culprits for this code is a diverter valve. All right. A lot of turbocharging systems actually have this, but basically a failing diverter valve can cause boost pressure issues. Now, this will lead to a P0299 code, so ensure that it operates correctly. Now, the next one's gonna be charge air pressure sensor. Now, you're basically gonna wanna actually charge an air pressure sensor. This can give incorrect boost pressure readings, potentially triggering the P0299 code. <clears throat> now, next up is the N249 valve. Now, it pretty much controls the diverter valve and, and malfunction can affect the boost pressure and trigger this code. Next up is the PCV valve, a faulty positive crankcase ventilation. Um, you know, valve can pretty much cause this, all right? It can cause vacuum, le vacuum leaks, sorry about that, um, impacting boost pressure or performance. Next up is the N75 valve. Um, it regulates the wastegate could be potential cause of the p0299 code now if it fails to function correctly be aware of that next up is the exhaust leak an exhaust leak can affect turbo performance and boost pressure contributing to the p0299 code so that's pretty much it for the video all right um these are the troubleshoots the possible culprits and the symptoms and causes of a p0299 code sorry about that on a Volkswagen Jetta Mark V generation. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the OBD Mastery YouTube channel. With that said, comment down below if this did help you out. And with that said, I'll see you all for the next video.